morning. I'm making spring rolls. I don't know, I was just in the mood. Making spring rolls is so enjoyable. There's something really relaxing about the process. It does take some practice. Like the first few times I made them, they turned out awful. They tasted good, but they looked bad. Now I feel like I'm getting the appearance of the spring rolls under control. I love cooking really early in the morning. Like I like it so much more than cooking at any other time of the day. The early morning is like perfect for cooking. And if it's like a cold day outside, I always think that buying fresh herbs like mint is pointless, you know, if it's just for one recipe. But I, I think I'm changing my opinion there because I bought this mint for a sauce that I made. It was great. And then I had this surplus of mint in my refrigerator and I was like, I'm not going to use this. Like, what am I gonna do with this? And now I put it on everything. It's in my spring rolls. I put it in the salad the other day. You know what I mean? Like having fresh herbs around is really, like really, it's kind of good. It's kind of a good thing. It's kind of not a bad thing. Okay, now it's, I need to focus right now because things are about to get out of control here. That was not bad. God damn it. Oh, this is a good one. Shockingly. That was good. That was easy. Okay, one more. I am so obsessed with the flavor of sesame seeds that I have considered pouring sesame seeds into a bowl, pouring milk over it, and eating it like cereal. This is the best one I've ever made. It's so good. See, what I like to do is I like to pre-game my cold brew with a cortado. So like, I drink my cortado. It's so cute, it's so romantic. It's my little morning ritual. And then, a half an hour later, I go and I make a cold brew. And like, that's when the power begins. That's when shit starts moving, right? When my cortado is in hand, it's like, you know, Emma's being peaceful right now. But the second that I'm holding a cold brew, anything can happen. <clears throat> Halloween is coming and I feel like I need to make something with pumpkin. Just because if I don't, it's kind of a disgrace. Do you know what I mean? Like, just because if I don't, it just wouldn't be right, you know? And I don't like getting too festive for holidays. It's not, I just, I don't know, I like to, keep it simple, but I do feel like it's appropriate to make a pumpkin dessert at some point today. That's all I know. The rest of the day is completely up for grabs. Anything could happen. kind of um, disturbing how often I wear these mom puffer jackets. This is something my mom would wear. I'm 20, I should not be wearing this. It's like a puffer jacket, but soft, okay? Like that is a mom thing. Listen, I know it's like, why live life by the rules? I agree, I'm on the same page, but there's something disturbing about the fact that I think it's okay to wear these mom-inspired puffer jackets every day. I have two colors and I wear them every day. If I'm not wearing the gray one, I'm wearing the green one. You know what I mean? Like that's kind of my routine right now. That's scary to me. Do I have anywhere to go? No. Nope. I don't need to run any errands. I don't need to leave the house, but I am deciding right now that I'm leaving the house and I am deciding that I am going to do something. I don't know what it is yet. Um, 
Listen, like, there's always an errand to run. Like, there's always some sort of errand that you need to run. Not a day goes by where there isn't at least one errand that could be run. I just need to think about what that is. Oh, you know what? I need to get gas, actually. I only have half a tank left. Is that more than enough? It is more than enough. But I'm gonna get gas. And then after that, the world's my oyster. I put on Ugg boots this morning. I mean business, you know? I don't whip the Ugg boots out when I'm just like coasting. I put the Ugg boots on when I'm going sport mode, you know? It's not, this is not a joke. All right, now what? I got a full tank too, so it's like, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? You know what I mean? <laughs> the thing is, do I really need to be here? No, but I just remembered that I ran out of white distilled vinegar. So, you know what? It's like, what? I like using white distilled vinegar to make pickled carrots. Um, I make pickled carrots probably once every three days. That is not a joke. I put pickled carrots on everything. What would happen if I went to go make my pickled carrots and I didn't have any white distilled vinegar? Chaos. Chaos would happen. So, anyway, this is... God, look how Los Angeles this is right now with this palm tree. <laughs> Hasta la vista. What does that mean? I found this um, pumpkin spice creamer, and so I'm gonna add this to my coffee and see see if it's any good. It smells good. It tastes pretty good on its own. It's pretty good, actually. Seriously, seriously, fall vibes right now with my pumpkin spice creamer. So that's so fucking cute of me. Oh my god. It just all hit me that I'm literally drinking a pumpkin spice cold brew and I'm wearing fucking leggings and Ugg boots. Like, I accidentally just became... I'm turning into something that I'm... I never thought I would turn into. What is happening to my identity right now? I feel unsafe. too much. I've had the same cans of pumpkin for as long as I can remember. Like, I, I'm not kidding, I've had the same cans of pumpkin for probably three years, and I've never used them, and Halloween's coming, fine. I'll make a pumpkin dessert, fine. The crazy thing is, I've been wearing these blue shorts for like a month straight. I will find like a pajama item, and I will just like, grow an emotional attachment to it and then I'll just wear it for like six months straight and then I get sick of it and then I find a new thing. Does anyone actually like pumpkin or do we just like pumpkin spice? I think we just like pumpkin spice. If somebody were to give you this and say, hey sweetheart, eat this with a spoon, none of us would do it. We all like pumpkin spice flavored things, okay? Let's not kid ourselves here. None of us actually like pumpkin. I'm gonna eat a little bit of this right now just to prove a point. It tastes like nothing. It's not good. Do with that what you want, but it's like the afternoon time, it's like 3 p.m. and this is when I start to get grumpy. Like in the morning, I'm in a good mood. I wake up in the morning, I feel amazing, happy, positive, insightful, wise, excited, exhilarated, and then it's like 3 p.m. hits and I am 
in such a bad mood every day and I cannot put a finger on why that is. I decided to make almond butter, pumpkin, chocolate chip blondies, whatever the fuck that means. Oh my God, it fucking smells amazing. Very aromatic. I'm sorry, we have to try a little bit. Yes, yes, wow, yes. I saw something, um, it doesn't say to do this in the recipe, but I saw something in a cooking video where you take your chocolate chips and you coat them in flour. It helps the chocolate chips not all stick to the bottom. Is this true? I know it is sometimes, but I don't know if it's true for me. So good. Oh fuck, oh fuck, happy Halloween. That is good. All right. God damn it, why do I keep licking things? I'm not sure if this tin was a good fit. I mean, they said it is. I don't know what's right. I don't know what's right. I mean, it's fine. Again, this is all about the end result. Like if it tastes good, then we, we're in a good spot. I'm trying to think about how I could like garnish this to make it look really pretty. You know what? I think it's good the way it is. Or maybe I do a little bit of brown sugar, add a little bit of molasses flavor for that, for that holiday baking flair, you know. I don't know if that's gonna do anything. It might make it too sweet. At this point, I just have to let Jesus take the wheel. My baking skills need some work, but...